वेलकम टू पवित्र लैपटॉप केयर टूडेज टॉपिक इज कोर आई सी रिक्वायरमेंट वट इज इज कोर आई सी रिक्वायरमेंट वाई कोर आई सी इज रिक्वायर्ड सो बिफोर कोर आई सी आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू सम थिंग सो मेजर डिफरेंस वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड बिफोर गोइंग टू द कोर आई सी सी वी वी ऑलरेडी नो द प्रोसेसर टू काइंड ऑफ प्रोसेसर विल बी देयर वन इज इंटेल and second one is amd right in intel if you are going to intel motherboards we will get that what is that cpu core cpu core right in case of amd series apu core we will get if you are asking any doubt any group member i am telling if you want exact solution first you need to differentiate if you want CPU core you have to mention it's a CPU core only if you are, if your motherboard is AMD series then you are asking CPU core it will be difficult to understand so first you need to identify which core it is so then easily we can give some solutions now one of our group member actually correctly he told but for you so many people won't be knowing so for them i'm telling so first you need to differentiate this which core you want actually he has doubt in uh, apu series motherboard uh, he has sent a schematic that we will go through that uh, what are the basic requirement is required in core section core ic see this is the schematic he sent alu nma281 okay see here enable see amd series it's a beam of 15 watt 2.4g integrated fchc one more important difference i'll tell you which in case of amd you will get fch fusion controller hub so in case of intel you will get pch intel we will get what pch platform controller hub in case of amd we will get the chipset name is fch fusion controller hub here what we got here it's integrated future controller hub it means it's amd apu and uh, this one uh, what is that fch both are integrated what is the ic number is isl62771 depends on ic characteristics we need to use that core ic to apu or cpu so what are the common things hmm? see boot u gate face l gate vddp vdd again l gate face u gate boot see guys it's very very simple what is that boot gate face gate what is that gate upper gate and lower gate correct in all pwm section even ram section uh, charging ic section uh, step down ic section everywhere you will be seeing that pwm section what is that high and low boot and face correct boot face all are common words only need not to scratch your head see this i see one complete section this is actually 40 pin i see here 21 to 30 pin it's a 10 pin what it has gone see boot to means here two mentioned in the sense it's a two face it's actually in a 3 5 section one single ic will produce 3 volts as well as 5 volts ic right so that's called it's a dual face like that here one and two even i also don't know about this particular ic i am telling you it has two face see here boot to gate face this one here into mark in the sense the particular face is not used only one face has been used here what are those l gate one face one u gate one boot one the common thing these are output section okay first what we have to understand first we need to check what input voltages see in any ic one thing you have to keep it in your mind first is voltages second one is signal for enable third thing is how many face it has face 
some signals are going input and some signals will be going to the output section in some cases if we get input then only the particular ic will be active and in case of input signal once it comes internally it will produce some voltages and it gives constant voltages like 3 volts 5 volts 1.2 volts these are fixed voltages so that's why it won't ask other one once it gets input sections definitely it produces fixed output but in some cases what will happen it receives input enable and then again some output goes to some other section if that is true then only it produces some particular voltages but it's not fixed one it's varied one very voltage so that's the reason you won't get core voltages exactly so core voltages may be 0.8 volts to 1.8 voltage it will vary depends on your cpu or apu see one more phase is there it's a one two and one more you'll get you get phase boot so maybe by default it means it has three phase correct but here it's a third phase is not used the zero one two 0 1 2 3 phase see it's a 1 2 3 4 it's a 1 and here 1 2 3 4 it's a 2 1 3 1 2 3 4 it's a 3 so total three phases one not used other one is here gate 1 upper gate for what is that apu so let us check where it has gone l gate 1 l gate 1 l gate u gate 1 boot 1 see here this one is zero which i told you know you get here you get face nb face nb boot nb boot nb l nb l nb so it's very easy guys see this section you already seen in many sections will be same high mosfet will reduce 19 volts see that b plus through the calcium yeah, it's very easy hmm? you need not to worry about those things see upper gate receives what main supply and phase how it will come for phase from boot a capacitor through a resistor and capacitor will be connected boot what is that internal driver supply correct so supply has to come and then driver upper gate and lower gate driver will start okay this section you know very well Hmm. this one is low pass filter so then coil then output this is common thing in this what are the suspect point part will be there here it's a one side is the feedback one and here it's a variation of uh, positive and negative okay see some p some n and here high low mosfets this is another suspect one next same thing here it's a one has given right where it has gone same thing are there boot one phase one two one what's the name apu core it's nb voltage and here apu core voltage it will be supplied to the apu or here in particular thing it's supplied to the apu again this particular voltage will goes to the processor see here it's over three phase it's very easy right each side it's a 10 10 but here 10 over here already 5 over almost power good for this one power good for this particular phase so internal comparator will be there for comparator see then feedback feedback machine should sensor see here some new new words you have to observe in uh, charging ic just you assume a charging IC in charging IC positive and negative path will be there right so same kind of thing here some n some p okay it, this one is v sense now it's a positive and negative what I told it's a coil maybe see here in the coil what is this? v some plus v some minus if you come this side v some p v some n n b right nothing to worry see ntc ntc it's negative temperature coefficient on resistor temperature thing will be there it depends on this ntc 
it sends the thermal i mon monitor current monitor svc see here one special thing i will tell you that spc what is this svc svc and svd this is very very important that input part right it's coming to the ic that's called input svc apu svd it means the particular sense voltage is coming from the apu apu telling this i require this much of voltage means my work is this much i have four core or eight core or uh, whatever core so i need to activate this my current requirement is this according to this the particular apu core output you will get that i already told you it will be won't be fixed one because of this one will be varying because that requirement what command you will give to the processor according to that processor i mean the, according to that command the processor will ask to generate the particular voltage apu core voltage please keep it in your mind this is very very important cpu core or apu core whatever it may be the processor requirement voltage it will ask to the core ic it's a input voltage 1.8 vs vs where vs generate uh, vs voltage will generate that input enable must power okay must see apu power okay apu tells to the particular ic power is okay there is no issue with my power current monitor see for nb this nb section i told you know that phase for this particular phase that particular monitor will be there here normal monitor particular ic monitor here all input has come here one output has gone see here we are hot we are hot where it has gone it may be io or pcs now not pcs it's a fch okay so it has gone there over everything is over monitor over and this side ntc that i told you know here one more ntc nb this is for nb phase here normal ntc here sense one sense two see some sensor are there here what is that i sense current sense one and current sense two for apu that five volts supply required this five vs is must okay this side i sense apu it's a ground ground also 100% if you remove this resistor it won't work some positive some negative it's very easy right it's a coil what is that here it's maybe apu see apu minus apu plus what is that apu minus apu plus here we saw already ah it's very easy some n v sen sense since usually it's taking sense rtn it has grown but it has input see low apu vdd apu vdd if you check this page number 5 you come to know from where it has come okay that apu core again it's a feedback kind of things it has given apu core where it has generated apu core this input has given to here thing is there it's very easy what you have to understand is how many core it has i mean how many portions it has it has uh, see here it's a one nb1 two three three phase here one phase is not given so only two phase what are those two phase this phase will generate what voltage apu core nb this phase will generate apu core only two cores finish so what are the input supplies 1.8 vs 5 volts vs here on 3 volts vs for vr apu power good see power good is always output this particular phase output here one more power good is there it has gone to nb section now you have to check the apu svc in cro in dso so what signal it's providing here apu is ready or not that signal you have to check input it's not provided by some other part then you won't get apu or cpu whatever it may be hmm? see apu core nb and apu you it won't generate according to this inputs that will generate so now you come to know core ic how to check the requirement one is input sections or input voltages 
second one is enable signals see this enable ec vr on and one is the output section output is vr art where it has gone those things according to that we need to check one by one one by one first vr art will go to some other part and then enable comes or first enable comes then output goes those things just you need to give the concentration see now we will search apu svc from where it has come it's a page number five one more most important thing i will tell you if this particular signal is coming from the page number five the particular component should be in on position because if it sends then only this particular ic will receive the inputs and it will do the appropriate uh, section i mean it gives the appropriate output here one more thing you need to observe some schematics there also input and here also input means here some hint they have given here it's a input which one svt is the input output is svc and svd is the bidirectional one input output both so it required input or output that you need to check but to provide or to receive this particular signals here all voltage should be pakka what are those voltage generally i'll tell you see so 1.8 here it's showing hmm, this name apu requirement it's 1.8 volts 1.8 1.8 power okay 1.8 vs apu okay thermal sensor it's a question mark vs apu vs apu hmm? here vs apu this seller pull up for this particular apu rst that plt rst apu rst here hmm? apu power okay cpu power okay just this is consider it as the introduction part hmm? the main requirement including each and every pin i will uh, do a separate video for that so in that completely i'll explain because it will be very boring if you go to advanced level definitely you will get sleep that's it you won't see much uh, time okay anyway i am concluding this this is the core ic requirement what core apu or cpu that i already initially i explained everything if you have any doubts so please put it in comment box so i will check and i will reply to you thank you thank you very much